Hello everyone. I am like, uh, I don't know. I'm like excited. Um, everything. I'm under the moon right now. Season one, episode one of Brit says you probably seen the promo, and you are just like, what's happening? What is she gonna say? What is she gonna do? I'm so excited to be doing this podcast like I've been planning it saying I'm gonna get it done I had some setbacks some of the setbacks was silly and I was just like you know what I'm gonna get up here and do what I gotta do and then some of the setbacks were real life setbacks and those are things that I will probably discuss a little later but you know I'm here I'm excited and yeah so you know, when I first started on this podcast, I had everything ran down, what episodes I wanted to do first, and, and you know, what did I do this? I did this in, like, I don't know, like, October. It's January, what, 22nd today. So, you know, my mind frame is in, like, a whole completely different space, and, yeah, pretty much, um... I just been kind of trying to figure everything out what I wanted to do and I said that when I started my podcast I wanted to start it off with a bang like I wanted the podcast episode to represent what I really want the podcast to be about and it's just to be genuine real and really just touch the hearts and the souls of people who really felt like they're going through something so crazy and really we're not we're just human it's 2019 the times are changing and we have really all just trying to figure it out and we're all going to be okay i promise you we're all going to be okay so the first episode is i'm 30 i'm about to be 30 i know and it's really about like me i'm 27 so i'm a about to be 30 I'm putting up quotation marks in the air because when you tell people that or people who know you they want to tell you constantly like oh you're about to be 30 like sis I know I'm about to be 30 I have a copy of my birth certificate I was born November 10th 1991 anything else you want to tell me about myself like I know like we're trying I'm trying you're trying and I get it 100% and I just feel like Times are different. It's very, 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 very different. And um, I feel like the pressure is so heavy on a 30-something and someone who is about to be 30 to really just have it all together. And it is not that easy at all, especially lately. Like, it really is not that easy. And I feel like you guys definitely should not let anyone put any type of pressure on you to be this idea of 30 like what is 30 like honestly like yeah people say oh you're about to be 30 you should be in a relationship you should be married you should have kids you should have this if you if that's not something you're ready for if that's not something you can do right now that is okay stop believing in the hype a lot of people are about to be 30 they are 30 and they are married and they do have kids and they still don't got it together so i feel like you know embracing if you are indeed single and about to be 30 or are 30, take it for what it is. Take it in stride, you know, like you could be in a real world of hurt right now. And I think it's always a good time to just really like start reflecting. Like, I feel like, okay, like number one, we already know, like we could talk about this topic all day. Social media is like this whirlwind of lies and deceit and it it creates these ideas in our head that we're supposed to be doing this and we're supposed to be doing that like girl if you're not doing this and doing that and guy if you're not doing this and doing that that's absolutely fine like let's talk about it number one some people yes they have kids but kids they're freaking headache and we know this and you know what? Some people who may not have kids have may been have probably been through things where they might be struggling to have children or things like that. And I feel like those things are not really like 
brought up. Like, I feel like we're all, like, really just being mad judgmental around this age. And, like, ugh, like people just, oh, God, like, I just, I can't. Like, ugh, like I feel like we all want to tell people what we should and should not be doing because we all really don't know what we should and should be doing. Like, if that makes sense. Like, that's what I really feel like. Like, okay, yeah, I'm about to be 30 and I don't have kids. Maybe I'm broken. Maybe I'm torn. Maybe I, I, I don't feel like I'm ready to bring a child into this world. Yeah, I'm about to be 30. I'm not married. Well, maybe I, I ain't find a man. I, like, I don't got the patience. I don't have the time. Like, maybe I, 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 my patience is at a, a all-time low. Like, some people could deal with certain things that maybe I can't deal with. Maybe I'm not willing to be in a broken relationship. Maybe I'm not willing to deal with stupidity. Maybe I, that's just not something I'm built for. Like, people, they'll see you, like, oh, complaining about something you don't like in a guy. And they'll be like, all right, but you're about to be 30. Like, so because I'm about to be 30, I'm just supposed to sit down and be in a relationship with somebody that's, like, a freaking disaster. Like, really. Because let me tell you something. You think being 30 and fucking single is worse than being 30 and married and done had a baby by a man that don't got no sense? Huh. 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 Let's talk about it. Like, for real, for real. Like, like let's really talk about it. Like, that's something you don't want to deal with. Also, I'm about to be 30, still living with your parents. Millennials, we have took on a huge depth in student loans. We have took on huge depth in just the common mistakes that the average twenty something makes is swiping their credit card. There's debt. There's a lot of things going on. I know for me, I live in New York City. Rent is crazy right now. And I feel like, okay, people want to say, Oh, you're about to be thirty and you still live with your parents. Okay. Number one. A lot of, let's talk, it's, it's different ways to break this up. Let's talk first about the women who are in a relationship. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. If you wasn't dating someone, could you afford an apartment on your own? Because a lot of people is on double income, and that's why you were able to move out your parents' crib. Boy, you, would you be able to move out on your own? Now, y'all that's living in hippie high ho hey, living in freaking Alabama, North Carolina, Atlanta, where rent is like $400, I'm not really interested in hearing your opinion on what you could and could have done, but I'm talking to my big city people, I'm talking to my New York City, my LA's, my, uh, who else, Chicago's, DC's, let's talk about it, like, could you really get up and move out on your own if you wasn't in a relationship, and if you can, shout out to you. But could you let me know? Thank you. Um, the other thing, a lot of people really have to live on their own. Like, like some people have real life problems with their parents. Um, some people have real life crazy situations in their home that they cannot live with. S- some people literally have nobody else to live with they might live alone they might have had their mother their father their aunt their uncle done passed away they have no choice but to get out and move out so my thing is is like you trying to keep up with somebody that you can't even relate to so you you want to move out your parents house because you trying to keep up with sis whose family situation is a disaster you trying to keep up with sis who's on double income. That don't make no sense. Now, yes, if you want to move out because you want to feel independent, you feel like, yeah, I'm about to be 30. I don't want to live in my parents' house. That's 155% understandable. But if that's something you really genuinely can't afford, if you could be in your parents' house really working, really saving up that money that you could put towards rent to really – Invest in yourself in something Like I said you have to have a game plan If you're gonna really indeed Do that then do that Like if you're gonna sit in your parents house And Work and just Go out and drink and party and have fun And be wild Then yeah to me 
it, it really shows a lack of, you know, maturity. So I feel like it's a list of things you, if you, if you are about to be 30 and you live in your parents' house, I'm going to say when you should stay and when you shouldn't. I think when you should stay or could stay and it doesn't seem bad is if you're working. If you're working and when I say working, I mean you have a good, decent career and a, a stable job. Yes. You're saving up towards something. So maybe you're saving up for a house. Maybe you're saving up for a car. Maybe you're saving up to start a business. I don't know. But, and you should be saving in general if you're staying in your parents' house. That's just my personal opinion. Now, when you, sh- you, you need to leave or you need to get your life together is when you're at your parents' crib. You're working a mediocre job, minimum wage. Yeah, I'm going to keep it a hundred. I keep it a buck. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing for you. If you at your parents' house and you've been working a minimum wage job for 10 years at your parents' crib, part-time job, you, you're being lazy. Fight me. You, you, you're you just there. you like, I'm going to get a job just so I can keep up with the Joneses. You're in your parents' crib buying Gucci bags. You're buying uh, Louboutins. You're, you're, you're in your parents' crib keeping up with the Joneses. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. That's when you really need to evaluate what you are and aren't doing. Then it's time for you to leave because, you know, you don't have your priority straights. Um... Some people say if you grown and you live, live with your parents and you got kids, you should move out. I think... Once again, that you got to play around with. Having your parents as a support system to help you take care of your kids. If you're like a new mother or a new parent, I think that that's okay. Um, but like, I, if you really like, you got to know your motivation level. Like, I, like it's all about... <laughs> Like, are you really working towards moving out? Are you really working towards a bigger cause? Like, it could not even be just moving out. It could be like, I'm here until I get this. But you got to really be working towards it. And, you know, the premise of this episode is really to say there's no age cap on that. And it's an age cap on everything, I feel like. For instance, like, with Nicki Minaj, like, people see her wear certain things. And they're like, sis, you 35, like. The thing with Nicki Minaj is Nicki Minaj is a multi-millionaire. When you're a multi-millionaire, you can wear what you want. Because you're already, like, you're already Gucci. You got your own house. You got your own car. You got your own everything. Like, you got money. You got businesses. You want covers and magazines. Like, who's telling you what you can and cannot wear? Like, you feel me? Like, that's the point you have to be at. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really... I don't, that's why I don't like to put an age cap on things. And I want y'all to really stop telling people what you should and shouldn't be doing at 30 or what you're about to be doing at 30. Like, and you don't have it together. Like, to me, Nicki Minaj has it together, but people telling her what she should and should not be doing. Now, I'm not saying it's together mentally. I don't know where she's at. But I would say financially and career-wise... I think we all could agree that she has it together. Like, let's be honest. She has money. She has her own place. I'm pretty sure. (laughs) If she does, I'm quite sure she could buy one. She has cars. She's, you know, she's good. She's well off. Like, she's in a place where she can do what she wants. And I think that, like I said, times have changed. And I think people really need to stop trying to put the pressure on on like people who are about to be 30 and 30 somethings times are freaking hard like for real like with everything not just money dating like now we in this social media wave with tinder and uh what match and who else uh coffee meets bagel i don't know and you be meeting a whole bunch of nuts on these apps and and you meeting a whole bunch of nuts outside like the men <sighs> The dating pool is so freaking 
like I don't know. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I, I don't want to quote nothing. I don't know who, the, what generation was the one that raised us, but they, they really. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened with that generation. They got a lot to say about millennials, but y'all raised us, honey. And we a whole freaking mess. A whole mess. Especially the men. I don't know who. Who? 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 Chile. I don't know what mother raised y'all. Some of y'all. Yup. Get mad. I said it. I don't know who raised you. I don't know what your mother did, but she didn't do right. And I don't know what she was going through, but she got to figure it out. Cause she ain't do right with you. Because, uh. Cause uh, huh. and then a lot of y'all sitting up here um kikiing with them. I'm not I'm not on that type of wave. I'm about to be thirty and I don't care type of wave. That's what I'm on. Like I can't sit up and kiki with no dude who's about to be thirty and don't have a job. I think like if we was to write a list of things that you should have or should be doing if you're about to be thirty, I definitely think you should have a job. Like, I think when you're 21 and 22, you could be quitting jobs and stuff and keeping it real cute, like, and living with your parents. Like, you'd be like, I quit. And you're a vibe. Like, mm, I quit a job at 23 or 4. Like, that's cute. But once you're, like, 27, I really, or 26 even, I really think you should never. Let me not say never. I think you shouldn't quit a job. Without getting another one. Um, unless it's really, really bad. Like, it gotta be really bad. If you really just like, oh, my boss is an asshole. Then, like, come on, sis. We gotta, like, you could be petty, like, now. But we'll, we'll talk about those things on the podcast. About just work behavior and work ethics. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like. That's one thing you should definitely be doing. Like, you should be working. And a lot of men don't work. And I don't know how that works. And, and there are a lot of 30-somethings, like I said. Those are the ones you should be like, yo, sis, you about to be 30. Is the ones that's living at their parents' crib. Never work a job a day in their life. Like, unemployed, vibey, parents paying for everything. <sighs> like, let's talk about it type. Like, those, those are the ones, yes. They're making some of us look real shaky. Real shaky, and and I feel like a lot of times when you think of someone who is about to be thirty and living with their parents, you think of that like that person who's just in their parents' crib, chilling, eating dinner, vibing. Like, and it it's not the case. Like, I really, really know it's not the case. I know a lot of people who are my age and still live with their parents, and they have. With good reason too. Some people who parents are sick and they really can't. Even though that's like the common line that people say is like, "Oh yeah, I live well, dudes do that. Girls, we we're just so more developed than men." Um, <laughs> I don't bash men. I think some men are good because I know right now on this episode, I'm giving off that energy. But no, I'm not like that. But definitely, you know, a lot of times I know like guys be like, "Oh yeah, I live with my mom. She's sick, so technically she live with me." Like, sir. <sighs> Like, I can't. And, um, yeah, like, I think at minimum, if you are about to be 30, you should definitely be working. Like, you have to be getting a direct deposit. Like, you should be getting a check. That's the most I would say. And I just feel like, Stop, and it be like, like honestly, like it be the people who really like don't really got it together that be trying to tell you like, oh, you're about to be thirty. Like, don't nobody give a fuck. Like, you telling me I'm about to be thirty? Like, I know. Like, I didn't do that. Like, <laughs> every birthday, I know how old I'm turning. I was never confused. Like, I was never confused. Okay, like I'm out here trying. Like, as long as you out here trying, like if you. And let me tell you, you could do whatever you want. Like, I'm really big on that. Like, I feel like whatever you want to do, you can do and you can accomplish. Like, I'm dead serious. Like, I really believe that. Um, like, I feel like people try to say, oh, you're about to be 30. Like, you're not trying. Like, you think I don't go out and I don't date and I'm not like, oh, I hope somebody put a ring on it. Like, I'll go out, I'll date, and they they are not for me. But the thing is, it's like people's like, what are you doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. 
none of us are doing anything wrong. I feel like if you decided to stop dating someone or start talking to someone, I would really think you did it with good reason. Like, I really believe that. And even if you did it and it's kind of like you're in this weird space where you like, am I ready to commit? That is fine. Why would you, since when do we do things that we don't want to do? Like, when has that ever been a thing? Like, why would you do something you don't want to do just to keep up with the Joneses or just because you're about to be 30? Like, do y'all, are y'all really grasping what I'm saying? Like, why would you do something, be with someone, be in a job, be in a career, live in a place that you don't want to be just to prove something to other people. Like, we really, like, you really need to think about that. Like, we always have to think about the consequences of our actions. Like, for real, for real. Like, on some real serious stuff. Because you could real life, and I think that marriage, kids, those are big Big, big, big decisions. Like, don't ever get it twisted. Like, first of all, yeah, some people, you could get married today. And you think, oh, and if I don't like it, I could divorce. Yeah, divorce, that's a legal document. Like, it's going to take you a headache to just even get a divorce, number one. And I don't think that we should get married with the vision or the goal of that. So, for you to really sit down and marry someone and you really might not even really love them... Or they really might dead just really not be the one for you. Just so you can have a wedding photo is a problem. Like y'all really, really need to take things seriously. And stop really trying to get these social media flicks. And these social media likes. And really stop trying to create create these ideal life styles. And not realizing the consequences of them. A kid. Y'all think a kid is a joke? That's a whole real life human. That's a whole nother you. Look at you. You ain't got no sense. You gonna bring another person up in here with no sense? Like, for real, for real. You ain't even got no sense. So, so... Really? Really? Like, like those are really big decisions. Like, those are really big choices. Like, y'all really... <laughs> Y'all really be out here goofing, like, for real, for real. Like, I I really think that we really forget about those things. And I'm not even saying the people that's in it, but the ones that really like to go up to their friends and family and say, you're about to be 30. Are y'all thinking about, yeah, she's about to be 30 and she doesn't have this, but what if she was to get it? Do y'all think about you putting that pressure on that person and what... The impact could be if that person was to really leap and do it without thought. Like, those are not, like, the things we talk about aren't jokes. Like, y'all got to be serious. And and when it comes to career, like, a lot of people, I feel like, jump into careers, take any job for the money. And I, I get it. I've been there before where I was like, <sighs> Like, I just, I'm done with fashion. And I sometimes do reach that point. Um, I went to school. I went to Buff State. I'm a mater for uh, fashion merchandising. So I really have been, you know, in that career path. I've been stuck kind of in retail. And I really have reached a point where sometimes I dead just want to give up. And for whatever reason, I haven't. But, you know, some people, they do give up on their career path. They do give up on their degree, and then they get stuck in these little mediocre jobs, and, and, and they getting the money, but they mad unsatisfied, mad unhappy. Like, we should really, age is important, and I get that. I really get that life is not a long thing. It, it is very short. Like, I I mean, I just remember when it was Monday, let's be honest, and, like, today is Tuesday. That was yesterday, but... <laughs> yeah! All right, I remember when it was 2017, like, no exaggeration, and right now it's 2019. So I really do understand that time really waits for no one. Like, that I understand. 
So I could see sometimes how we get frustrated. But I just I just feel like everyone needs to put a little more emphasis on life and not time. Cause you want to make sure you had a dope life, like, and 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 let's not get it twisted too. Yes, in life we're gonna make a hundred thousands of you know mistakes, and, and mistakes are important because you learn from your mistakes, and you know you kind of your mistakes and your choices and your decisions they mold you and they really make the person that you are. But I do think. Some of the decisions that we make, we could really just, I don't know, like, we could really, like, it's certain things, okay, yeah, you make a decision, and you think it's the right decision, right, and things don't go the way it's supposed to go, that's completely different, but sometimes, let's keep it 100, we make decisions, and we know it might be bad, like, we will never say, that's gonna be a bad idea, sometimes we do, but sometimes be like, we might be alright. You should not be saying it might. Like you need to be like, this is a good idea. And sometimes when you say this is a good idea and it comes out bad, that's different. If you knew it was gonna be a bad idea, you shouldn't be doing that. Like we really need to really shape up quick, fast, and in a hurry. Like we need to focus on life and not time. Because you would never wanna like pass and really be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's never the goal. The goal is really to be like, I had a good life. And I feel like because we're trying to keep up with the Joneses, we're trying to keep up with the times, we're trying to keep up with social media, we're trying to keep up with our friends, we're trying to keep up with our family, try to keep up with you. Like, what what is Britney want? What do you want? Like, how can you keep up with yourself? How can you keep up with your bank account? How can you keep up with your finances? Like, Let's focus on keeping up with ourselves and not everybody else. I really believe that. But you got to be serious. Like, you got to be super ambitious, super charged up, just really like a go-getter. Like, you got to really be 100%. Like, if you... Or trying to keep up with yourself, but you you just laying in your bed all day, moping around, getting up, going to work, mad and stuck in the past, and just ugh. then I mean, those are things you yourself need to evaluate. But I really would like for people to stop saying you're about to be thirty. Like we know, like. Nobody gives a fuck. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm dead serious. And I want y'all to be on that wave. And some people might be like, uh, that's not a good wave. And that's cute for you. You probably want them 30 somethings. That's what a nigga that's cheating on you. He's not a vibe. And he's playing you. And you're married to him. And you're a cornball. So, next. Like, are you about to be. and, And I'm here for the ones, you know, that are married. That do have kids and you're about to be 30 or you are 30. But let me tell you something. Since I'm talking about the single 30 somethings, you know, the pot, this episode was in some way for you. And then for the ones who are about to be 30 and they already kind of, well, they, they already have what we call the ideal life. Together is for you to learn to stop telling your friends that they're about to be dirty because they know and they, they they probably do care, but they don't need your affirmation because they know how old they are. Like, I always knew how old I was. Um, If you are about to be 30 and you happen to be in a situation where you are indeed married and you are with someone you don't like or you are in a relationship with someone you don't like or, you know... You had a kid and maybe dealing with postpartum depression or you just upset with some of the choices that you made, that's fine. Or if you're in a space where you are not unhappy, 
are not happy in your situation that you are currently in, you can always fix that. Like, don't don't be stuck in something because you, you committed to something you and you made a mistake. So I know that there's some people who are actually 30 and they, they already, let's say you're the person who already made the mistake. <laughs> of basically what I'm telling you not to do in this podcast, you actually already did. You took that big leap of faith and you said, I'm 25 and I want to be married and I want to have kids and I want to get these Instagram likes. Let's say you already done messed up. That's fine. Everything's fixable. You know, like I said, yeah, you might have a kid and you want to say stay with the guy because um. You know, we all, no one wants a broken family, and I get that. Um, So you might have stayed with the guy or whatever. You might, you might be staying with the guy for that vision. You don't have to if you don't want to. Don't stay in something that makes you unhappy. As it pertains to the kid, once you have a kid, you have to raise it. So there's no really running around having a kid. (laughs) <laughs> and that's why I put so much emphasis on like we really need to stop playing around with the things we say and do and what we try to do just to keep up with the Joneses. Um, you know, if you have a kid, you have a kid and that's amazing. Kids are dope. Um and you just gotta take it for what it is. And I hope you have a strong support system. If you feel like you did something where you jumped the gun because you were mentally checked out or you were like in this weird space, maybe when you were like 26, you were like, oh, I'm lonely, oh, I'm a kid, oh. and then you really dead did it, and you like, what the hell did I do? Everything is okay, and you're going to be fine. I believe that God, he has a plan, a purpose, and a vision for everybody, so yes, if and also too, I want to put out there that yes, mistakes actually really do happen, yeah, sometimes, you know, people might get pregnant, it wasn't planned, it wasn't something... That you planned out And and that's okay Um, I feel like marriage You obviously plan that So you can't really like tell me You did that by mistake Unless you, you know you're in Vegas or something But who does that Like it's 2019 We gotta stop doing weird stuff Like come on Like I can't Like I can't with the weirdo stuff I can't right now This is serious Um, And I wanna let you know This is no shade Like it's shade, but no shade, honestly, because I'm just tired of, like, the disrespect. And I know I'm not the only person who deals with these things. So, I just want to be there for everyone. And that is what the podcast Brit Says is about. I'm going to just be real open about everything I say, everything I talk about, all the topics I talk about. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I think you will. I really do. I really, really do. I really think... The things I say will resonate with a lot of people. I think there's a real unspoken voice for some of the people who deal with these things. I rarely hear people talk about it. All I hear people talk about is what we should be doing. But are we talking about the things that we're not doing and we're trying to do? Are we helping people to figure out a way? Are we creating a pathway? Are we telling people that we're here, that we're dealing with the same things? No, we're not. But I am. And... Yeah, this was the first episode. Get ready. I am excited, like I said in the beginning of the podcast. And I will see you guys on episode two. It was nice chatting with you. If you're watching instead of listening, definitely comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Britstagram. Um, the YouTube channel where you can watch the video is under Britney Forever One. I haven't had that YouTube channel, cha- YouTube channel for years. Shout out to anybody who's been watching me from day one. The five of you who <laughs> watch my journey and support every little small, tiny, teeny, weeny thing that I do. Um, and yeah, it's so much more to come. And I would definitely see you on episode two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, Brit says, see you later, darling.